Hey guys, it's Firefly Carrie, and we're back again with The Walking Dead. We are picking up exactly where we left off last time. Stopping the train and dealing with Duck. Oh, man. Again, it's... I think it's time. The boy's been bit, in case you haven't figured that out. Take as long as you need. There ain't no time left to take. What are we gonna do? We can't allow him to become one of those things. But what if... what if he doesn't? Kenny, I love you very much. I love our son more than life itself. I need you to hear me. What you are saying, that he may not turn, is foolish. But... No. There's... Come on, Cap. If you think of one, you let me know. Isn't there some sort of pill or something we can just give him? Stop it. Just drift off to sleep. Right, hon? I mean, Jesus, this is our son. I know. But we know it's here or nothing. Fuck. Just who, then? You want me to? You don't have to. I'll do it. No. It should be a parent. No parent should have to do something like this. Lee's right, Cat. We can say our goodbyes and just let that be it. I don't know. Lee, you'd be doing this family a great service. Why don't we take him into the forest so Clementine doesn't have to see yeah. Give us a moment to say goodbye. Of course. No, the feels. Dying. I know. What are you doing? I'm putting him out of his misery. Oh. Yeah. Look, Clem. Things are. What the? No! Ben, take Clementine into the train. Go. It'll be fine. No, 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 no. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Cat! Cat! Gotcha! Why? Cat! Why? Fucking God! <laughs> what the hell happened? What did you? She could. She 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 just. Oh, oh, oh fuck! Give me the gun, kid. I'll do it. I'm sorry, Duck.
Poor Kenny. Oh, shit. Honestly, uh, real talk, if, uh, if that was my son and everything, honestly, I don't know what I would do. As you all know, I have a six-year-old little boy. I just could not imagine having to do, I, no, I don't even want to imagine it. Hey, how you doing? I don't care what reasons you had for doing it. No reason to go and tell my girl she's gonna end up dead. Because she is. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. If y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do you know? I know that you don't have a goddamn plan. We get to Savannah, and then what? Do what's best for Clementine. Oh, well, then, you do have it all figured out. Never mind. Look, sit down with the girl and hash it out. Find a map, for Christ's sake. I'd give you one if I had it. And if something were to happen to you, it won't. If it were, you gotta prepare the girl. Teach her to use a weapon, and for crime, and he cut that hair. Like a gun. Are you kidding me? What, she's too young to handle one? There ain't too young. Not anymore. You gotta consider He's got a, point. a living person. That's it. You're either living or you're not. You ain't little, you ain't a girl, you ain't a boy. You ain't strong or smart. You're alive. Look at her hair. Find some scissors in my pack and take care of that hair before Walker does it for you. And then show her how to use a gun. Because like it or not, that's what saves your life from here on out. I don't mean to tell you how to do your job, but too many people have died already. They have. And seeing another little girl die might just do me in. I hear you. A plan, a haircut, and a gun. That's good advice. It's something. It is something. You have any family? Out there, somewhere. Been sort of on my own for the past, oh, 14 years now. I'm sorry to hear that. No one to blame. You're homeless then? Eh, suppose. I've had homes here and there, and they just don't work out. I like a drink, you know? Yeah. Got any? No. Darn. <laughs> Where are you headed? Uh, that way. I mean when we get to Savannah. Got a few ideas. We'll have a talk when we get there about whether or not you folks want company. I shot the kid, you know. I suppose someone had to. What a mess. You said it. Be safe up here. You betcha. Alright, I guess. Oh, Kenny. Mind if I get by you for a second, Kenny? Can you just leave me alone? Damn. Hey. hey, Ben. Hey. There aren't many of us left. Yeah. You, me, and Kenny. Clementine. The homeless dude, if he sticks around. We're all homeless. You know what I mean. There's not much use in describing people by who they were. Yeah, I guess not. So it saved your life, you know. 
I know, I know. I don't know if I can go on like this, man. Well, you're gonna. That's just the way it is. See you. Yeah. Hey, Ben. Hmm. Hey. See you. Yeah. Bottle of whiskey. It's a fifth of whiskey. Backpack. They look clean enough. Oh, yeah. Alright. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna. Because maybe we can get by the. Maybe we can somehow get that map. Or maybe we can get more out of the homeless guy if we show him that we have a bottle of whiskey. I found this if you want it. Damn. Didn't realize I had it left. Thank you. Want a nip? No, I'm fine. Suit yourself. Anybody in there want to share a drink? You let them know. Will do. Yeah, I think, uh, I think Kenny deserves a drink right now. Hey, man. You and me, we, uh, oh, fuck. Let's just get to the ocean. I wanted to talk to you about keeping my past from you all. You told us it was your parents' store back in Macon. That was enough personal information. I'm sure Cat would be uh, okay with you, so forget it. Okay. Hey. Yeah? Chuck wanted to know if you needed a drink. He's got some? Yeah. I just feel so bad for Kenny because not only did he lose his son, but he lost his wife all within like two minutes of each other. Hey, Ben. Hey. See you. Yeah. I feel like Ben hey, is going to die next. Huh? I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? I knew it. It's all my fault. What for? Why the hell would you do this? They said they had my friend. That he was with them. By the time I realized they didn't, it was too late. They said they'd kill me. Kill all of us. I'm sorry, Lee. You still want to talk to me? Yeah, I do. I'm real sorry. Let's drop it for now, okay? What are you doing out here? I, uh, couldn't be back there anymore. I needed some air. Anything else? I was thinking about talking to Kenny. I guess not. I'm dead serious about you keeping your mistakes to yourself. I can tell. You get why, right? I guess. You better. See you. Yeah. Mm. All right. Let's let's take care of our girl. We gotta take care of our girl. Hey, Clint. Did you talk to him? I did. He had some. Uh, he explained himself and made some good points. 
Look, we're not gonna let anything bad happen to you, but there are some precautions we have to take. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Don't worry, sweetheart. Okay, well, what should we do? Well, we're gonna figure out a plan for when we get to Savannah. Teach you how to protect yourself and uh, tidy up a little so you can't get grabbed so easily. I like that. Good. Yeah. What do you think about Chuck? I don't know. Me neither. He might be an okay guy, though. You think? We'll keep an open mind about him. He's probably had it pretty rough. You need to know how to protect yourself. Like hiding or running away? Got it. I mean, with one of these. First, don't be afraid of it. It's just a thing. Take it. But know where your finger is all the time. And don't put it on the trigger unless you want to hurt somebody. Okay. Okay. See? It's not scary. It's heavy. You'll get stronger. To aim, you look right down the top through that notch. Line up the sight at the end with your target. Is there anything else I should know? I know these are just bottles. But you have to aim for the hand. I know. Only the head. Unless it's not a walker and it's someone trying to hurt you. And then? Head or body. Anywhere. I don't want to think about that. You're right. It might be a lot for your first day. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. Good. Don't lock your elbows. Okay, let's take your first shot. Squeeze the trigger smoothly, and I'll cover your ears. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. You okay? My hands hurt. I don't like this. Let's stick with it, okay? Do I have to? Yes. Yeah, you do. Okay, aim a little bit more to the left. Okay, a little higher. There you go. I got it. Excellent. Good shot. See, Clementine's a natural. She's got this. Our girl's got this. Oh. A little bit more to the left. A lower. Oh. A bit to the right. Steady now. Got it. Yeah. There you go. Nice. How many times do we gotta do this? Alright, let's do it one more time. Whoop. There you go. It. Yeah, you did. Good job. I just pretended they were walker heads. Good. Just like you should. They're not walkers, though. No, far from it. But you know how these things work now. We'll graduate you to walkers one day. <laughs> okay. We'll graduate good. you to walkers. That's so scary, huh? Nuh -uh. Hey, Cliff. Hi. I want to talk about Savannah. Me too. And what we're going to do when we get there. We don't know what to expect. The city could be bad or totally under control. The thing is, you and I, we're a team, you know? And a team needs a plan. Aside from everyone else, when this train stops, you and I should know exactly what we're doing. A plan. I like it. <laughs> Good. We need to help find a boat. It's our best bet at safety. Okay. But we'll be in Savannah, and my parents were in Savannah. I know. Look. No, I don't care about safety. I care about finding them. Okay, we'll look for them. Really? Yes, of course. I'm sorry. Let's look at the map. If we can figure out where they were, we can start there. Okay, let's. There you Looks go. Like we'll come right through town if there's nothing on the tracks to hold us up. We're gonna wanna look for a boat here, I imagine. 
And from there, we've got all the savannah to the southwest of us. We've got a good chance of savannah. Right, so. What do you think? They always stand. And sorry about that. Uh, thought someone knocked on my door. The same place when they go there. It's, uh. Hmm. Hey, don't worry. We'll figure it out. Have yeah, kill him. Don't worry. Well, think about it. There are a lot of hotels on here, but read this map and maybe it'll jog your memory. They've got really tasty desserts. It's called <laughs> the M. M. something Mar. Is this it? The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! So we'll head there. Yes! You think we have a good plan? I think it's very good. Can I tell my parents? You know. Sure. Go ahead. Hey, Clint. Now we Hi. gotta cut her hair. So you're probably not gonna like this. Oh no. What happened? Nothing. We have to talk about your hair. It's not safe. That's not nice. What? Are you saying it smells? No. Because it does. Kinda. Do you remember when Andy St. John grabbed it and I got mad? Yeah. Well, that could happen again. And if it's a walker, well, we need to trim it. Just a trim, right? I need to cut it short enough so that it can't get grabbed. Okay. Mind if we do this now? I guess not. Don't mow. It's a good thing. Do you know how to do this? How hard can it be? I'm going to look like a boy. Shush now. <sighs> so you did kill someone before. Yeah. You could have just told me. I wouldn't have been afraid of you or anything. I'm sorry. You've killed lots of things now. It doesn't even matter. Different. Why do you do it now to protect yourself? And to protect me? I was sent to jail. Did people ever go to jail when they shouldn't? All the time. Okay, I think I'm about done. I can probably tie these pieces back with some. Here, I have some hair thingies. You do? Uh, yeah, Lily gave them to me for sleeping. There, all set. <laughs> no, you look cute and a lot harder to grab. You look cute and a lot harder to grab, so that's important. It's the a lot harder to grab now. All right. How do you feel? Good. Better. I'm glad we have a plan. And you're a good little chef. Thanks. I guess we should see how far. Oh shit! Hold on, everybody. <laughs> what we'll find out next time so remember guys be good stay safe but always have fun i'll see you guys next time bye